So we're looking at targeted cryotherapy uh, rather than whole body cryotherapy as uh, a very versatile um, treatment in aesthetics. First of all, what is cryotherapy? Very simple, it means cold therapy. Taken from the Latinized Greek, cryo for cold, uh, that's all it is. Most of you will have had an ice pack on a bruised eye or a painful joint over the years. Some of you will have seen the ice baths used by athletes. Uh, these are all basic forms of, of cryotherapy. However, some forms of cryotherapy are more effective than others. And I'm hoping to show you today that the, the targeted cryotherapy using the Casen Life will beat hands down most of the forms of cryotherapy uh, available. Um, so modern cryotherapy started in the 1970s, uh, two very different corners of the globe. First of all, Dr. Yamaguchi in Japan, who was a rheumatologist, realized that if he cooled his patients down with painful joints very quickly, they reported far less pain and also there was a notable reduction in inflammation in the site of pain. Uh, the other side of the world, over in America, Dr. Harvard noticed that children who were sucking ice lollies had dimples in their cheeks. Um, he realized eventually that the, the action of, of having the cold ice in their mouth uh, being sucked against their cheek was actually destroying fat cells without damaging other tissue around it. Uh, and this may be the first recorded instance of cryolipolysis, which we'll explain very shortly. So cryotherapy is all well and good, but what are we trying to do? Well, what we're doing is we're applying, in the case of the CASEN, uh, carbon dioxide gas, which is hitting the skin at minus 78 Celsius, which is pretty chilly, uh, under pressure out of a cylinder, and it causes thermal shock. What's thermal shock? It's the body's natural reaction to being cooled down rapidly. Um, why are we doing this? We're trying to elicit lots of natural body res uh, biological responses to the cold. The first of which is the body's ability to, to close down some of the blood cells, blood vessels, and, uh, and prevent body being cooled down and the um, core body temperature being reduced too much. So I've got a couple of animations here which go a little bit quicker than I can speak, but. Uh, here we see a cross-section of the skin with some fatty tissue underneath and we see the gas hitting the, the skin. The skin will contract quite quickly and you do get an apparent uh, reduction in the thickness of the fatty tissue very, very quickly, pretty much instantly. What's also happening is that the blood vessels under the skin, here you can see them normally with, with blood flowing through them, they constrict. This reduces the blood flow, prevents the core body temperature from cooling down too much and ultimately uh, becoming hypothermic. However, here's the beauty. As soon as we take away the cold source, the blood vessels dilate to around four times their usual diameter. This does several things. It floods the area with nice, fresh, oxygenated blood, which is very warm which warms the area very nicely, gets you feeling much more comfortable very quickly. Um, additionally, there's uh, a response from hormone production, neurotransmitter release, uh, things like norepinephrine, uh, dopamine, flood to the area. This has many, many beneficial effects, um, including enhancement of mood. Um, it's been used for treatment of depression. Um, because of the, the rich nutrients and hormones that are fl flooding to the area, the skin at the, the basal cell level has a chance to rejuvenate um, and the skin is able to operate at a more optimal um, level. What this actually means is that um, more elastin is able to get to the skin, more collagens, more hydration, and so skin can appear much healthier, fine lines and wrinkles are reduced uh, just by natural processes. What also happens is that the underlying fat tissue, the adipose tissue, is cooled down. Now, as with the, the kids with dimples in America, fat tissue does not respond well to cold temperatures. 
and the fat cells start to self-destruct. It's a process called uh, apoptosis. It's an irreversible effect and fat cells are actually destroyed and eventually processed by the body uh, by phagocytes, the lymphatic system, and are excreted from the body or they just go back into to the, the system where they're metabolized. So what does this actually do? Ultimately, the process of apoptosis uh, can take days, weeks, up to about six months to complete the process. And so over time, you get a gradual reduction in the fatty tissue uh, underneath the skin, and you will get a permanent loss of that fat. If diet, exercise are maintained at their, their usual levels, then you will see a loss in weight and a loss of inches around the areas that are treated.